are we doing? <laughs> what time do you think we'll be out here, out of here at? Hopefully soon. Wait, I look like you, right? Go down. Do I look like you? You look a girl. A younger virgin. Are you talking about? I'm 25. Just kidding. Just kidding. You are young. I used to think I was little though, like people in their 40s was like old. Good thing I'm not in my 40s. But obviously that's not true. I'm 25. <laughs> yes. That means you had me when you were how old? 16? <laughs> just kidding. Possibly. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> you have me. We are 26. Seven. Seven. So, that was, how many years apart are we, Mom? 27. Really? Oh, if I had you at 27. That's so weird. That sounds like you're so old. Is that gone yet? No, it sounds like you're so old, but you're not. Aunt, me and Grandma are 60. No, we're, se we're 70 years apart. Is that crazy? No, you're not 70 years apart. Yeah? She wasn't 70 when you were born. Oh, oh. <laughs> I was like, I you were here. I was like, I guess you can have me. Look at that. Um, what was I going to say? How old was she? 50 something? Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> Your jaw looks so long. <laughs> I'm gonna show her. <laughs> okay, you can make fun of me now. Mom, ready? Ready. Go. <laughs> Do that, do that. I don't need to help you. I mean, I don't need <laughs> to. You're in cuckoo bananas. Cuckoo bananas? <laughs> yep. Ow. Hello. It's ya. I'm cuckoo for cocoa oh. puffs. Cocoa puffs. I'm very close. <laughs> <laughs> You're coughing on me. What's on? Housing help. Oh, but that's my nose. Mom. Ooh, what's going on there? <laughs> that's my nose. Wait, let's do it to you. Can you stop? <laughs> Seriously? recap on why I had to go back to sick it. So as you guys saw in last weekend's video at the end of my vlog, I explained a little bit to you guys what's happening with my health. So ever since I got my pacemaker implanted, it hasn't been doing the best with my health. So what's happening is my pacemaker when I'm sleeping on my left side it is not working properly. What's happening is my pacemaker. Oh, my TV just turned off. There we go. <laughs> Back on. Anyways, my pacemaker is stopping for a few seconds multiple times in the night. So it's not kicking in specifically when it's supposed to, but I obviously still have a heart rate. 
And why I have a pacemaker is because I'm taking this medicine for my extra heartbeats that I um, got diagnosed with back in uh, February of 2021. So I need a pacemaker because the medication has a side effect which lowers my blood pressure. So the pacemaker will make sure that my heart rate doesn't lower while I'm taking the medicine. But it's not really doing what it's supposed to now because um, it's having another side effect, which is it's um, not working while I'm sleeping. So my amazing nurses and doctors are helping me out and they're making sure I have follow-up appointments with the appointments I've already had. So at these appointments, I'm getting more energy into my pacemaker from the outside and they use a specific machine. And the machine makes sure that my pacemaker has enough energy so this problem isn't happening at night. But what they're doing is still not helping so they're trying for the last time to add more energy which they did on thursday and then they're going to see from the holter monitor i had to wear on thursday to this morning to see if the changes worked possibly or if they didn't so if they worked they're going to prolong having me to get another pacemaker than having to get it sooner so we're gonna see what happens i am really nervous though actually because i have a feeling i may need a pacemaker sooner than later which i'm preparing my mental state for having to have a pacemaker sooner than later because i'm putting so much energy into this pacemaker um it means that i'm going to need a pacemaker sooner because it's now a year until I'll need a new pacemaker but I may new need it like five months from now or sooner because of the problem that's happening so at least there's a solution like I'm very grateful but I am nervous because I'm not excited to have surgery eventually so we're gonna see what happens and I'll update you guys um once I get the results. Anyways, thank you for watching today's video. Please pray over me that everything is good. I would really appreciate it. And tomorrow's October 1st. That is insane. I'm so happy because it is my birthday month. And so is my friend Raphael, my literal sister. Um, her birthday month, her birthday is six days before mine. Crazy. So make sure to wish her a happy birthday. Anyways, love you guys. And always remember to enjoy the little things like. See you guys in next weekend's video for Thanksgiving. Mwah. See you soon.